Arne Slot is a 45-year-old Dutch football manager and former midfielder. Currents, he's set to move to Liverpool soon. Before Feyenoord, he managed AZ Alkmaar, and he's had some notable achievements, including winning the Dutch FA Cup last week, securing a league title, and reaching the Europa Conference League final. Arne Slot is a manager who excels at creating high-quality chances while maintaining a strong defence, and this fits well with Liverpool's high-intensity style, especially when out of possession. Slot's teams focus on possession, building up play from the goalkeeper to generate opportunities. Despite this, they aren't overly patient in attack. Instead, they move the ball forward quickly and take shots promptly once they advance. This deep build-up with quick, direct attacking is a key characteristic of Slot's approach. Another interesting aspect is their balanced use of progressive and sideways passes. Slot's team moves the ball sideways initially to bypass opposition pressure and then attacks swiftly once they break through. This combination of possession play and dynamic attacking is reminiscent of the styles of managers like Guardiola and Klopp, which likely attracted Liverpool's interest. Liverpool would want to prioritize candidates who play in a specific style. Arne Slot fits this profile, which is why he's on their radar and more importantly, Slot not only delivers strong statistics, but also achieves tangible success. He has a track record of improving teams on limited budgets and developing young players. For example, after reaching the Europa Conference League final, Slot's team sold most of their key players. The following season, he rebuilt the squad with players under 24, focusing on future potential. This approach aligns with Liverpool's strategy of buying low and selling high. Slot's charisma and media skills are also appealing, especially following Jurgen Klopp, who excels in these areas. However, Slot's experience is mostly in the Eredivisie, with only five seasons as a manager, including one in the Dutch second division. This, however, raises questions about his ability to succeed in a more competitive league like the Premier League. But it's important to note that Arne Slot would inherit a highly talented Liverpool squad, including some of the league's best players, like the top centre-back and goalkeeper, and a strong defensive setup. The team is capable of challenging for major trophies and achieving the high points total necessary to win the Premier League. Key players like Trent Alexander-Arnold, one of the best progressive passers in world football, would fit well with Slot's style, which emphasizes direct and progressive passing. However, replacing Jurgen Klopp is a significant challenge due to his success and influence on the team. The transition could disrupt team chemistry, and opponents might sense a vulnerability. Additionally, while Alexander-Arnold excels in attack, his defensive weaknesses need addressing. Slot's limited experience, having mostly managed in the Eredivisie, raises questions about how his success will translate to the Premier League. Slot might use Alexander-Arnold in a more central role to utilize his passing skills effectively while addressing defensive issues. Slot's similar style to Klopp could help maintain continuity and reduce disruption, but he still needs to prove his capability at a higher competitive level. However, there are some problems in Liverpool right now that if not solved, might become huge issues within the team. Arne Slot's approach aligns well with Liverpool's current play style, which involves a mix of sideways and direct passing, much like what Slot's teams do. Both Slot's teams and Liverpool focus on deep build-up, moving the ball through initial lines of pressure, but differ slightly afterward. And while teams like Manchester City and Arsenal play cautiously to retain possession, Liverpool and Slot's teams tend to increase the tempo and attack directly once they bypass the first lines of pressure. This direct approach, however, involves risks and requires a strong counter-press to recover the ball quickly if possession is lost. Liverpool's defensive setup, featuring key players like Alexander-Arnold, who excels in progressive passing, fits well with Slot's tactical style. And despite these similarities, there are challenges. Klopp's departure could disrupt team chemistry, and Slot's limited experience in top leagues raises questions about his ability to manage in the Premier League. Moreover, while Alexander-Arnold's attacking skills are beneficial, his defensive weaknesses need addressing. Slot's strategies, such as inverting fullbacks and using deep runs from midfielders, could enhance Liverpool's dynamics, providing continuity while introducing fresh tactics. However, Slot will need to address issues like Liverpool's counter-press, which weakens after the departures of key players like Firmino, Fabinho and Mane to restore their previous effectiveness. Living up to Klopp's legacy will be no easy task, given the German coach has led Liverpool to eight major trophies since joining in 2015. 
Slot has enjoyed success in the Netherlands, guiding Feyenoord to the Eredivisie title last season and winning the KNVB Cup this term. However, he will face immediate challenges at Liverpool, with the future of top talisman Mohamed Salah in doubt and several other players expected to leave. Signing a new midfielder will be one of his first tasks of the summer, with Thiago set to depart as a free agent. Teun Kopminers has been identified as a target by Michael Edwards, but Slot will likely want to put his own stamp on the team. Liverpool supporters will expect their team to continue challenging at the top of the Premier League and for other trophies, so pressure will build up quickly if Slot doesn't get off to a great start. Nevertheless, he believes that the situation he'll face isn't dissimilar to the one he had with Feyenoord. In a recent interview, Slot was asked if he was feeling the pressure ahead of his expected switch to Liverpool. I think that almost every trainer of a top club is on the edge of being overworked, he said. Being a head coach is a very tough job, especially at a top club with so many opinion makers in front of you every week. I really experienced this as it turns out. Last season at Feyenoord was tough. On why he believes managing Liverpool will be no tougher than his job at Feyenoord, Slot added, That would also have been the case if I had stayed at Feyenoord. Expectations in De Kuyp are also high. People expect good football and good results. That has often been successful. But as a trainer, you are constantly working on that. One of the big problems Liverpool faces is that Darwin Nunez hasn't lived up to expectations, especially given his hefty price tag. Nunez might be Klopp's biggest mistake, as he was expected to be a prolific number nine, but hasn't quite fit that role. Slot, on the other hand, has worked with a different type of forward at Feyenoord, like Santiago Jimenez, a young Mexican striker who has shown promise as a central forward. Jimenez's first touch and one-on-one -on -one ability might be more reliable than Nunez, but it's uncertain how well he would adapt to a different league. Liverpool also has other options, such as Cody Hakpo and Diogo Jota, but they lack a true fox in the box. Jota, while perhaps the closest, has struggled with injuries this season. Another issue is the midfield pairing. The likely setup involves Alexis McAllister dropping in next to Wataru Endo, while Dominic Soboslai might be moved to a number 10 role due to his pressing ability and versatility, Liverpool might need to consider signing a defensive midfielder. This is especially crucial as Thiago is set to leave as a free agent, adding urgency to find a suitable replacement to maintain balance in the squad. Slot's ability to adapt his tactics and work with young players will be tested, but his previous success with Feyenoord suggests he could effectively manage these transitions at Liverpool. Many Liverpool supporters expect the team to compete for the league, but with strong rivals like Manchester City and Arsenal, this might be unrealistic, at least for next season. Liverpool certainly have a squad capable of hitting 86 points and securing a Champions League spot, if things go their way. And the transition to slot should be smooth, given the similarities in managerial style and his reputation for being well-liked by players, which helps maintain team chemistry. However, any new players slot brings in could disrupt this chemistry. Liverpool fans' expectations will be high, and early exits in competitions like the Carabao Cup or FA Cup could negatively impact the team's momentum. Still, there's a possibility that Slot could lead the team to win consistently. So the real test will be whether Slot can meet these high expectations and challenge for the top of the Premier League. The situation might parallel the debate around Ange Postecoglou at Tottenham, where improvement is acknowledged but not necessarily meeting some of fans' high expectations. Slot's success will be judged not just on securing top four finishes, but on showing an upward trajectory towards the top of the league. His handling of media and press conferences could buy him time if things don't go perfectly, as he is known for being engaging and articulate, offering thoughtful responses rather than cliches. This quality could endear him to fans and the media, providing him with a grace period as he adapts to the demands of managing Liverpool. What do you think? Will Arna Slot fit well in Liverpool? Let us know down in the comments below, and we will see you in the next video.